But yeah, I had a backboard up in the back of my house and I used to just shoot. And I was lucky enough that I came across a guy that he was a, a, a men's basketball player that he, he, he spent the time teaching me how to do the jump shot. And as Gail said, at that time, female basketballs really were all about doing the set shot. And I, he thought I was strong enough. So at the age of 13, he started to teach me the jump shot. And really, that helped me go to four Olympics. Okay, I could, uh, that's what I say, people talk about I was a great shooter. That was my biggest strength, and it was. Okay, but there's more to playing basketball than just shooting. So obviously, you know, we talk, people talk about defense. Okay, defense and offense are all as important as each other. And you try and be as the best as you can. Defensively, I wasn't the best defensive player, but I was smart, that would help me to become a great team defender. But it's always working on the fundamentals for me really is the cornerstone to all of my success with what, with what I've had. You know, to, to play for Australia for 17 years, um, really, oh, it shows that I was quite old when I finished playing, which I was, I was 36 when I retired. But to be able to play for so long, it was really because I had this, this desire to be the best that I could. And every year, I never compared myself from the next person to, but beside me. It was all about myself. How can I be the best player that I could be? Not how could I be as good as so and so and so, so and so. Okay, so I worked on every area of the game, the fundamentals. And like as Gail said, I can honestly say I, I think hard work really paid off for me. I really worked hard, especially when I went to the Australian Institute of Sport at the age of 17. My sole focus was being the best player that I could be. So it was a journey. Look, this is just a warm-up drill, but remember, when dribbling, okay, it's always good. We usually do one, but make sure the ball is a part of your body. Okay, so it's in unison, okay? So if I, so if I go, okay, if we go to move it, see? I don't practice mine anymore, but if I took moving around, if I tell you to go like this, everything's unison. If I tell you to skip, can you feel it? Everything's unison, okay? That's together, okay? So you go on mine, okay? Sorry, hon. Okay, you ready? So you're gonna dribble out, dribble out, dribble to me. Dribble, dribble, dribble. Okay, stop, dribble, dribble. Good, dribble high. This way. This way. Dribble, dribble, dribble. Go backwards. Good, now the most important thing, and you, this is the main thing that I teach, okay, is to be loose in your hips, okay? So when you come out, oh, let me do it one ball. If I say be loose in your hips, like be loose in your hips, don't be, okay, loose, let it flow, energy. It's all about energy and it all comes from your hips, okay? So if I'm doing two balls, like don't, be loose. You don't have to be like this to dribble. We don't teach that, okay, it's the difference. We teach upright and then if I tell you to get down, okay, loosen the hips. Okay, loose, everything's loose, good. Okay, now this time, okay? Hold it, last thing. Just gonna go like this, gonna go stretch out. Stretch out, okay, you're gonna go with your right foot, leg first, but then control. Okay, reach. This is like your big push off. So when you're a big explosive, okay? Here we go. Push, just one foot, one. Boom, boom, boom. Stretch, good. Go back with your left hand, turn, here we go. Okay, look, we do a lot of cone dribbling, okay? Now the key thing, when we dribble, remember, you'll hear me, loosen the hips, okay? We don't dribble up like this, okay? You wanna be up, you wanna be able to see. You see that? It's like a street baller, okay? So you're coming up, so all you're here, and then you're gonna go. You see, I'm high, 
This is the only thing, boom, boom. Then I go low. The ball's nice and close. Okay, you got it? So we're gonna come down here, down, down, down. Then I'm gonna come around, go, and then finish with the layup, okay? Get your shoulder down, eyes on the target, okay? Now the most important thing is, here, short contacts. When I do this, it's, boom. See how my feet, it's not, I'm sure you're not taught that anyway, okay? So remember here, watch again, so I come up, Short contacts, short contacts, short contact, then stretch, and then go on and shoot a layup. Okay? Go to the other line, we'll go down the other end. Here we go, go. Good? It's okay. I'm getting half of you to go down the other end. Boom. Okay, this group, stay here. Stay this side. Good, go. Stay there. Good. Okay, yeah, not too bad. Look, ladies, the one thing I should really emphasize is be quick, but don't hurry, okay? Sometimes we want to go like this. So you have to set your defender up to beat them, okay? So when it's being loose in the hips, if you see me approach it like this, if I'm dribbling, you see how I go high to low? I don't go like this, because that makes slow. You, to be quick, that's why I say loosen the hips. This is what you'll see a lot when we shoot. Everything's got to be explosive. Okay, so don't get stuck. Now another thing, a lot of you, when you change the ball over, it's a little too far away from the body. Remember, the ball has to be a part of the body when you're making a hand change. Okay, in the open court we can push it out, but we have to make a hand change, it's got to come back close to the body. Okay, the ball is a part of the body. Now we'll do uh, between your legs. Okay, one second, I'll go. Same thing, okay, remember, approach. Okay, you're not down, you're up. Okay, so you're high, and then you go down. See, the ball's a part of my body. Okay, then it's like high to low, up, high to low. But it has to be hard, okay? So you're coming up here, boom, here, boom. Boom. So high to low, okay? Now this is not realistic, but this is what we want. Short, bam, bam. You see, it's like a boxer, okay? So everything's to two stops, okay? Boom, then, bang. Yeah, put you. Okay, it's like a dance, really, isn't it? Gotta be good dancers. Okay, here we go. Boom. Good girl. There you go, that's good. That's nice, that's good. And then you're like, boom, bam, bam, bam. Good job. Hold it there. You can hold it there. Good. Okay, last one we'll do here. You're gonna do behind the back. Okay, you're coming up the same thing. You gotta lower your butt. Okay? And then go finish off real quick here. Okay, so you gotta lower your butt. But I'm still high up. Lower your butt, lower your butt. Active feet, some of you too long on the, the floor, okay? It's not, it's, okay, here we go. Quick, harder, harder, good. That's okay, hun, you're a big player, I'm not expecting you to do it, hun. Boom, keep it low, keep it low. Keep it low, just push it, push it behind. Okay, obviously that's just a real short thing of some of the stuff that we do. We do that often, okay, in our pre, in our individual workouts. So ball handling. But you can do combinations. But the most important thing is you gotta be loose in your hips, you gotta have short contacts. Okay, it's high to low. High to low and up. It's not low, 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 low. Okay? Obviously if you have a defender, you have to stay low to protect the ball. Okay, but it's when you want to beat people, this is the best way to do it, okay? Look, now we're going to... We're going to move into some shooting techniques and break it down a little bit. The first thing I want to do is come a little closer first. Come, come. Who's a... Uh, a jump shooter. Anyone can shoot the jump shot? So basically set shooters. 
That's fine, that's not a problem, okay? But as you get older, you get stronger, there's the opportunities to become a, a jump shooter, particularly when you play off the dribble, okay? So what I want to do now is I, when I teach the shot, I like to break it down from the top to the bottom, okay? So I'm going to start with the release. Now, obviously, your release is going to be lower, but for teaching purposes, I'll show you mine higher because I'm a jump shooter even though I don't do this very often anymore, but I'll show you, and the timing, okay? So the most important thing is, can I have a ball? Okay, if my release is here, okay, your core is what's most important, okay? Your power comes from here, and then the contact's off the floor, and then the rest should just flow. Your energy, if it's here, you hit the floor, the energy will come up, and once the energy gets here, it'll just push the shot up. Okay, that's how simple it is. Okay, if you see the best shooters. Now, important is, the ball has to be a part of the body, doesn't it? So this is not a shot pocket. Okay, it's here, it's close to the body. It's an extension of my body. Okay, so it's the most important thing. Hopefully I can do it, because my shoulder's messed up. Okay, so this is all we're going to practice. We'll mix it up, we'll get into pairs and we'll go at both ends and we'll space out, okay? So ladies, all you're gonna do is get your shot pop, your, your release, so mine's here, okay? So where's your release? Show me your release, okay? Show me your release, I got your ball, okay? And that's fine, okay? Just make sure it's space. It's funny, you know, every time I shot the ball, I would move it to be like that, it's really weird, okay? Yeah. Okay, so, I mean, that was just my technique, okay? So look, make sure the ball, the palm, of, the, of, of your hand is off the ball. You want, you want tension in your hand, but not a tense hand. Okay, there's a difference because I say this, this is the most important thing, short contacts off the ground, energy comes up and you just need a strong hand, okay, to follow through. So all we're gonna do is this, okay, real simple. Just gonna focus here. This is my shot pocket. If I had my shirt off, it's not a six pack at the moment, but you would see that my stomach is tight. Okay, so focus on the ball. All you're going to do is one bounce, short contacts, and then when the energy reaches where it needs to, you just push the ball up. Okay, it's real simple here. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Got to warm up. I'm old now. Okay, so it's here. Okay, stomach's tight. Okay, you see my feet, shoulder width apart. Okay, eyes on the target. Just one bounce, and then shoot it up how easy it is okay so if I went further back here the further I go you'll see me more contact harder off the ground okay but it's here it comes from here not there this is my power okay I'm here okay so it'll just go through it's an extension okay so I want you to pair up one ball take five and so shots and then rotate I'll come around and look at your technique okay mix it up let's go here we go, hon. Riley. You need, I only need one ball. Good, start close. Start closer and then get a better angle. Good. You're a good shooter, aren't you? Sometimes you see that. See, sometimes that's too far out because uh, you won't be able to shoot a jump shot until you bring it back in here. Okay? Yeah, so strong. As long as you can see it, and it can be down here if you're shooting it, but do never bend. You see? Like here, you'll see me when I shoot. Everything's relaxed. The only thing tense is here. Relax, relax, here, boom. And now all you're gonna do is here, is a bounce, and, and once the energy hits, boom. Good, and then throw it through. It'll feel weird because you haven't done it before. Okay, you're breaking down the shot. That was good, hun. Good. Now the most important thing, ladies, is this. Don't get locked in like this. Here, look at this. Don't start doing this. It's, you're relaxed. You're relaxed shot, okay? Because this is what we teach, it's all about, you're feeling it, short contacts, oh. this is all you need, the energy, okay? So here, I'm here, slightly bent, but not like this, and then do it, okay? Let's go. Good, not bad, but even relaxed, I mean bent. Just slight knee bend, slight knee bend, that's all you need. Stop, keep it, hold up, where's your release, good. Can you see the ring? Yeah. Good, now go, boom, bounce. Good, but I want you to bounce, okay? So you're just going to do with this with me. Don't shoot the ball. You ready? Hold it. Hold it here. Okay? Yep. Boom. And see like this. Boom. 
Okay. Now she bang. So strong here. There you go. That's good. Show me hand. Good. Not bad. But big. See how slow it is. You want to be quick, quick off the ground. But don't bend. You see how, how much you bend? Just slightly bent. Yeah. That's good. Good. Now remember. Good. Good. And now it's members. Eyes on the target. Once you do this, you don't have to direct it. You just got to push it up. Push the ball up. Okay. Scratch your nose. I always say, if you can't scratch your nose, the ball's not where it needs to be, okay? Good. Switch it after five shots or so. Yeah, oh, that's okay. Now, the last thing, I'll just demonstrate if I can. I don't do this very often anymore because of my injuries. But the preparation for the shot, okay? So who's the stepping shooters? Most of you step in or a hop shooter, it doesn't matter, okay, I'll show you both. If you're a step-in shooter or a hop-in shooter, you have to wait for the flight of the ball before you start your action. If that's anything you learn, is wait for the flight of the ball, okay, because that will generate your energy to be quicker. Now, once you catch the ball, if I caught it, the ball was almost to my hand, and I catch it, this, the catch and my power foot should be together, okay, and it has to be quick, and that's when you'll see me get under the ball, boom, that's loose in the hips, okay, I'm not stuck down, I'll demonstrate a little bit, because we're running behind time, I'll just demonstrate, and that's something that you can work on, obviously, in your spare time here, okay, just give it to someone, just pass it under here, so if you, if you watch me, hop on the side, so you can all see me, now the most important thing, I'm, look I'm a step-in shooter, but I can do both obviously, is wait for the flight of the ball, but I'm not here, see I'm not here already, okay, see when, if the ball's coming, boom, and that's when I'm going to start, you see how high I am, boom, the ball's coming, boom, okay, and then I'm going to shoot, so I'm waiting for the flight of the ball, okay, so it's coming, boom, shot pocket, I get it in, and then I can get it, boom, you see my hands, I go and get the ball, I don't wait for the ball. This generates energy, and then the shot pocket and all this together, remember, I scratch my nose on the way up, makes it a quick shot, okay? So last time, ball, wait for it. <laughs> shot pocket, I let it fly. Okay, who's a hop shooter? Does anyone do this to shoot? No? No one? Okay, if you were a hop shooter, same thing, you wait for the flight of the ball, bad pass, boom, and then you would start again. Okay, so to wait for the fly of the ball, shot pocket, and then I'd let it fly. Okay, the key thing, you're defending her. Okay, the stance, remember, be in your stance. I, I give up no middle penetration, okay, but remember, it's arm's length. Okay, square stance. Too many times you see this. Don't give players direct penetration because it puts pressure on everybody else. Okay, so solid one on one defense, obviously tracing the ball. I think which Australians do one of the best, okay, in the, in the world here. Tracing the ball. But the most important thing is off the ball. So if, if uh, Diana is there, stay in the corner, hun. Shallow triangles off the ball. We always talk. Look, I was taught. Pistols, you taught that? Shallow triangles, okay, this is a shallow triangle. This is not a shallow triangle, okay, especially in the WNBA, usually everyone is a great shooter. And if someone penetrates, we're about early help, early recovery, hands and arms and passing lanes, and do not give up that three. That's the three I never want. Okay, now if obviously if that person moves back door, well then I have to move so I stay shallow triangles. Okay, one pass away, the same thing. Your shallow triangles, okay? Solid one-on-one -on -one defense, shallow triangles, okay? Same thing, now two passes away, it's just like you do. I mean, this is what you've taught, okay? Now in the WNBA, we have a three-second rule, so we have to be here. I make uh, my girls stay inside to outside. Some coaches make them go outside to inside, okay? But obviously, you have no rule like that. So you're here, okay? Shallow triangles, you're not here, because she can still pass that. Everything's a shallow triangle, okay? So all we're gonna do now is just pass it, 
for about 15 seconds, and you're going to jump to the ball. So if you pass it to Joanna, jump to the ball. Okay, this is everything you do. Okay, but usually here, yeah, square stance. If we're this way, we want no middle, so our high foot should be up, but it's not giving direct penetration. Okay, so hand pressure, pass it, jump to the ball. Good, get up closer, closer to it. Good, now you can still pressure the ball, jump to the ball. Good, keep moving quicker now, go. Good, hand pressure, hand pressure. Good, you're too far away, get your hands in passing lanes. Good, close, use the ball. Jump to the ball. Good, good. Be a little closer there, good, keep going. Good, nice, good. Now hold it there, hold it there. Now if we skip, sometimes I'll make a skip pass, good. It's the closeout defense, skip it over here. Close out. Now if it's a close out and it's a long way to go, you run and you take little steps. But you make sure you're in a, sh a square stance, okay? Everyone jumps to the ball. You're a little too deep there, hun. Okay, hands and arms and passing lanes. Switch it real quick. I know you've all done this because I've done it way back in the day. Good, here we go. Good. Okay, moving it. Pressure on the ball. Pressure the ball. Pressure the ball. Good pressure without getting beat on the ball. You know your strengths. Good, don't open up too much. Square stance. Move it, skip it, skip. Good, close out. Scramble, jump to the ball. Okay, we all can talk it up too, okay? It's a key of defense. Good job, here we go. Okay, good, skip. Rights can come in on defense. Defense is out. Defense out. Stay on offense, huh? New, def new defenders. Okay, let's go. Talk it up now, let's go. Live, live. Here we go, pressure, pressure the ball, jump to the ball, jump to the ball, jump to the ball. Good, talk it up, don't hear anyone. Ball, 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 jump. Good, get in your stance, move your feet. Good, skip, skip. Good, close out, good job. Close out defense is important, obviously. Good, stop, who hasn't been? Played defense. Okay, look, stay there, the next thing that we'll do is off the dribble. Okay, penetration. Now, if someone penetrates, like just worked on us, if I penetrate here, get in your stance. Good, square stance. Boom, you early help, early recovery. Because if you, stay there, don't move. If you block me off, I'm gonna pass it, but you have to be able to close out. Now, we're on a string. If she helps, you help. Okay, you're pulling a string. So if she helps, you'd be up here. So you might have to stunt to get back here while she has time to get back. Okay, so that's important in any kind of defense. You're a team, you're a unit, so don't let your teammates down. Here we go. Good, move, penetrate. Good, early help, good, drive, drive, dribble, hold it. Okay, dribble, drive, penetrate, okay. Everyone that gets it, or not everyone, but look to drive. Okay, pass it, look to drive, okay? Try to drive middle, not baseline for now, good, here we go. Good, go, good, early help, activity, use your hands, early help, early recovery, you're on a string. Good, good, talk it up, I don't hear defense. Bob, Bob, there you go, move, move. Good, good. Good, don't give direct penetration though, that's a no-no. Square stance on closeouts, okay, stop, good. Offense to defense, defense out, new offense. Quick, here we go. Running behind time, good. Penny, move the ball. Early help, early recovery, we're on a string. We're on a string. Good, get in, good, early help. Here, hold it, beep. Good, look, and we make this sometimes we over help. So it's early help, early recovery. Don't get stuck because then it becomes two on, two on one on a quick reversal. So quick, okay, stretch it out, let's go. Good, good, good drive. There you go, early help, early recovery, close out. Are you on a string, close out. Good, that's better, good job, move your feet. Good, okay, stop. Okay, offense to defense, who hasn't been in defense? If you, uh, you pass it over here, good, you're coming into a screen, you guard your man in a square stance, 
until you hear the screen and then you ice it. You say ice, she takes it away from the screen, okay, and you force it into here, okay? We've just done our shell drill, which means the weak side, this is high split, low split, we shrunk the floor. Now pick and roll defense, that is important. You do your best to do that. But off the ball is just as important. And if it's a pick and roll defense, you're zoning up the weak side. Okay, so we're zoning. You got high, there could be another post player, so she could be low. The wing player could be on top of the, the five man down here. We're shrinking up the floor. But icing is here. You guard a square stance until you hear the screen and then you change the screen and it's ice. Now, if this is a great pull-up shooter, I'll guard you, I'm the post player. Well, then I'm a little closer to the screen, hop away. <laughs> I'm a little closer, so uh, uh, Bree's coming off. We keep her in here, okay? Now there's things, we, sometimes we go ice, we stretch it out until she gets back in face and then I recover. At the same time, what do we just work on? Help the helper. So the high split, usually this post player, she high split, they might help, she may help until I can get back, okay? So we're just gonna go over conceptually that real quick here. Now, if this wasn't a real good shooter, hop back, Ella, I got you. She's going, she's going, I'm going ice, ice, screener. I, w I don't have to be as close, but I don't want slashes to cut through me, okay? So we keep them in front and you work to get your butt back in front and then I recover, and then we can all recover into that shallow triangle. Okay, so here, this is all we're gonna do. This is the most popular defense. This is what I do as my primary side pick and roll defense. So you're gonna pass it here, okay? Pass it here. I'm gonna set a screen. Ice, 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 boom. Pass, stretch it out. Here, pass it back to me, I'm gonna pop. Okay, I'm gonna pass it the other side. Oh, where were you? Come here. If I catch the ball, you should be one pass away. One pass away, good. Balls ahead, good, I'm coming over. Ice, ice, ice. boom. Okay, dribble down, I pop, good. And then we're gonna rotate, okay, real quick. That's all we're gonna do, it's conceptually. I don't expect you to be great, but I want you to conceptually think about it. Now, post players, it's your responsibility to communicate. Because what you don't want is, they're coming, they think you're coming, and they go like this, and you give a direct path. We've done it, okay, so it's communication, but you guard your man square until you hear the screen, ice. Good, here we go. Good, good, there you go, recover. Good, good, there you go, good. Okay, stop, new, new defenders, let's go. Offensive defense, okay, let's go, next one. Pass. Good, ice. Very good, very good. Nice, good job. Recovery. Don't let him use the screen. One of you will go blue, obviously, but don't have to change. Here, point guards, offense, defense. Two wings, offense, defense, good. Two step up, good, okay. Now, so all you're gonna do is you're gonna run floppy. Floppy is screen, you gotta to go to come. Screen, come in, stay a little higher up. You're just gonna set a screen, floppy. We call this floppy. Screen, come in, two guards come in. Okay, one screens for each other, the other one comes out, then come out this side, you go out that side. It's just movement, pass it, okay. For this one, you're gonna clear out and the weak side person's gonna come into a screen, okay? So she's coming into a screen, your weak side, she clears out your split line, okay? You come in, you pass, you never stand, you move. You space on the weak side, you let them play two on two with the weak side attack, okay? That's important, spacing on the offensive end. Now they come to the screen, your square stance, square stance, until you hear the screen, square stance. What are you gonna say? Ice, Ice. boom, get up here, good. Drive, Bree would be here. You see where Bree is? Stretch it out, that's okay. If she came over here, you would go there. But this time I want you to pop, okay? You're gonna pop. Okay, they stretch it out, boom. 
She pops, three bumps, you bump back, you all bump back. Good, now pass it over here, okay? Pass it there, cut through, come and screen. But catch it higher up for a second. Boom, ice, ice. Now, what if we can't ice? We call this show, okay? If we get screened off, it happens too quick, it becomes a show, you show, not that hard, you just show and go. And the most important thing is this person, she is my helper, split side, and then you help the helper, okay? So I've got to fight, get up, get my butt over the screen, I've got to fight over. If they're not a good shooter, I can shoot the gap. And then I get back, you bump, early help, early recovery, early help, early recovery. Okay, can we do that? So it's floppy. Good, ice, it's okay, good. Jump to the ball. Don't lose sight of your man. Move your feet. Good, good, very good. Okay, rotate again. Look, ladies, the most important thing is communicate. Okay, to be a great defensive team, you need to communicate. You gotta be a team unit. Okay, here we go. Floppy, set screens, passing it. Good, good, ice, good talk, very good. Get over there, good, good job. Rotate, scramble, scramble. Good, just good. That's the way. Yeah, the question was, how did I get all of my players in Phoenix to mould and to be a great team? It's a great question because it doesn't always happen. We've, we've spoken about, you know, there's some great players that haven't won championships, but then sometimes it's all about being unselfish, the best players. And look, I'm lucky that I've coached Diana Tarassi in Russia for two years, and I'm sure that helped me get the job too, because you know there was a lot of reports. I'm very big on preparation. Um, you know, I'm confident in what I do, and when you, the best player in the world, buy, sees how good it is and how effective it is, so it was an immediate buy-in. So that helped me. And when I got back to uh, Phoenix, the players that I had, they wanted to win. They wanted to win and they wanted to be coached. Look, not all players like to hear constructive criticism. I'm, I'm, that's how I coach, I'm not a, a, a ranter, but I hold them accountable, because it's about teaching the little things. And I teach the little things, I'm very specific, I'm attention to details and I want them to do it right. So if they don't do it right, we do it again. And I show a lot of film. But look, it's the players wanted to win and they, like every coach has different philosophies. So they bought into my philosophy and they enjoyed the style that we played. Um, and I think the most thing, obviously I'm very proud and, and humbled to have won the WNBA champion, but what I really loved about this team is, in the past this team has scored 100 points a game and their opponents have scored 98 or 100, you know, 98 points a game. So my emphasis was always on defense coming in and preparation, attention to detail, and we were the number one team in the WNBA that kept teams to the lowest points and we also kept them to the lowest shooting percentage. So like I, that made me very proud, but on the other end, um, we also scored the most points and scored, had the highest shooting percentage. So it, it, it shows a lot about this team. You know, we had an un unbelievable year and who knows, they're saying we're the best team ever, so how do we match that? I'm not sure, but I love those kind of challenges and you know, new players. But look, if the players don't buy in, and girls, I mean this thing like, you know, your coaches know what they're doing and it's more about trusting in that. Even if you think, oh, this doesn't make sense, you gotta just trust the process. And I say, remember, it's not about, if you have like this, one person, we talk about team defenses like this, isn't it? To be a great team, you have to be all on the same page, okay? But if you start feeling some cracks, you'll never have the success, okay? And it could be just one person. So it's like, you do your best, and then you have that team behind you. And there's no better feeling going out and winning, knowing that we did it as a team.